Welcome back to the Spruce Domper YouTube channel. Dreaded yellow construction screw. In a previous video, we discussed the benefits of framing with screws. It might not be what you think. Watch the last video, fancy thumbnail. In this video, we're gonna show you exactly the difference between this screw, this screw. I got a funny story about framing with screws and if you stick around to the end, we'll give you a little updated shop tour because well, you've been in the dark, and who am I to keep you there? Two screws, both gold in color, but not gold in performance, so let's see what they're up to. All right, well, first up in this scientific process is to show you there truly is a difference. This is about a three and a half inch, number 10, yellow construction screw, something you'd find in the aisles of Home Depot, and right beside it, it's closely related cousin, but all entirely different animal. Three and an eighth, number nine, GRK structural screw. Please note the Torx head. We don't want you to think I'm pulling a fast one on you. Very similar, but very different. All right, first up for demonstration purposes, we're gonna go with the yellow construction screw, the old Robertson head, tried and true, trusted into the vise. Where should we grab her? Let's grab it right about halfway. Now, the point of this, and you'll notice, I'm not torquing the vise down. Just got that in there so it's not going to fall down. The point of this test is to back up my previous video and show you exactly why you don't structurally frame things, green, yellow, or brown screws that are not structurally rated because they're just not up to the task. All right, with our screw fixed in the vise, we're going to show you a little bit of a stress test real life simulation. Don't mind that beer box, I'll just cover that up. So what we're gonna grab is our safety approved striking implement and we're gonna apply appropriate force to the yellow construction screw to show exactly how it would perform in a stress shear situation. All right, gentlemen, keep your eye on the prize. Now pretend we're in hurricane force winds the old leaves are blowing off the trees and your house is creaking and groaning, but you have decided to frame the dreaded yellow construction screw. Well, friends, I'll tell you, if you uh, were the little piggy in your house and somebody huffed and they puffed, they would have blew all your screws down. That did not take a lot of force, just a mild tap. These yellow construction screws are simply meant for holding things together. That is it. They are not meant to have a stress load put on them because in the event that the load becomes too great, which is a lot less than you think, boop, off they shear. So pretty simple example as to why that does what it does. And this will tie into my, uh, well, somewhat embarrassing story, but I'm a humble man, so I'll tell it to you anyways. Let's do the test on the structural screw and we'll see the difference. All right, fellas, we are ripe with anticipation. Here is the GRK structural screw. I can't remember the shear rating, but it's considerable. We're gonna just gently pinch that in the vise, approximately the same height. If you recognize the vise, we bit the bullet and we moved the famous Woodlands workbench. We moved her down into the shop. It was cramping our style in the garage. I didn't want to buy another vice. See, there you go. There, the root of most reasons why things get done is, uh, well, because you're just too cheap to expand the empire, I guess. Let's get to stress testing. Is this gonna be a case of huff and puff and blow the house down? Or are we the little piggy that built out of bricks? I got a, I got a light grip, little bit of leverage. We'll give it about the same force. Three, two, one. Oh, see that? I'll tell you what, I'll even give it one more for the sake of the video. All right, well, proof is in the pudding. Not only did we give it the same initial strike, but we gave it the old double tap. And I want you to look very closely at the difference of outcome here, okay? That is why they say structurally rated because it doesn't just snap off. All right, now, has it fatigued it? Absolutely. After the second hit, it has just 
ever so slightly crease the screw right there. But I want you to think of any other metal, a nail. So if you took a framing nail and you worked that nail back and forth, eventually it too will snap off. But the difference being is that took two fairly hardy blows. Now, in the case of a framing application where you're working with wood, the, gra the forces are gonna be gradual. So it pushes. Picture yourself putting a stud in a wall or a, you know some sort of framing member the stress on that is gradual. It's pushing, just torquing and torquing. It isn't a metal to metal blunt quack like that. That is proof of how strong an actual structural screw is. Now, if I work this screw back and forth, back and forth, obviously it's gonna snap off, but so would a nail. It is that initial brittleness in the construction screw, the yellow construction screw, why you want to avoid their usage Anyways, you know, what do they say? A uh, picture is worth a thousand words. I think this video proves out my point on structural screws versus yon yellow construction screw. Onto the story, onto the tour. Right, onto the story as promised. You gotta get a good background, a little spruce stomper craftsmanship in behind me here. So if you've been watching the channel for a while, you might ever call me mentioning that I built my own house. Where we live, uh, crafted, you know, we constructed that ourselves. Uh, myself, uh, my dad donated endless man hours. Uh, my beautiful wife and, uh, and my mom was here, helped with a bunch of stuff. So as a team, we got it done. The only thing we didn't do was hang the dang gutters on the place because well, those fellas work for super cheap and it's super high off the ground. So why I'm telling you that is uh, the context for the story here. I touched everything in that house. Everything that was built, I was involved. Put the fasteners in, cut the wood, including the steps in the garage. Now, when we first moved into the place, the garage, the attached garage, did not have a concrete floor. It wasn't in the budget. It took us a while to kind of get to that point. So eventually, we said, okay, we're going to pour the concrete. Now, there's a set of steps that lead up to a landing to get inside the house uh, from that particular location. And they were in place temporarily because we knew they'd have to be removed to do the concrete. Now, they got taken out concrete in yay beautiful my wife parks in the garage loves it um the steps had to be put back well me a man of uh, you know many projects on the go i whipped the stairs back into place and with whatever handful of fasteners i had at the ready keep in mind the vice trick i just showed you with the old screws that shear off under load put the stairs back up so uh Fast forward down the road, it's like, oh, I don't know, a year later, at least a year or more, my father-in-law comes over and, uh, and he's a stocky dude, right? And you can imagine when you go up and down stairs, you get a little bit of shock action going, okay? So <laughs> we say our goodbyes and we're still inside the house and he goes out because that's, you know, that's where you take your shoes off, puts his shoes on and we hear an extraordinary crash, followed with some colorful language. We run down the hallway, look out the door, and there he is, the, the, the landing of, the, of the, where you end the stairs, the landing is about neck height, and he is standing on the garage floor on top of what was <laughs> the staircase. Now this isn't reflecting too good on me from a carpentry perspective, but we got to a little CSI investigation and it turns out that Spruce Stomper cut a corner and it looks like I started fastening the stairs with the handful of screws that had been temporarily holding it for the concrete project. And that's as far as I got and I never circled back. So here this poor guy, <laughs> he takes the ride of a lifetime. He's like a cat on his feet, I'll tell you. He's wearing a pair of Crocs and uh, he, he's stuck to that like, uh, like a cat walking a tightrope, I'll tell you. Uh, totally upright, unharmed, unharmed. Um, but yeah, <laughs> dang screws, every single one of them broke off. And when I say every single one, I, I doubt there was more than a few in it. So needless to say, uh, similar to the stairs I'm sitting on right now, proper fasteners, uh, bolted to the concrete, locked in, good to go forever so but uh, I gotta say I'm glad it was him and uh, not my wife carrying a handful of groceries so 
Be mindful of where you use them dang yellow construction screws. You guys want to have a quick look around the shop? Now for the keen observer, you've probably been seeing some of this in our YouTube shorts. I did build a bench here. I'm not going to get into crazy detail because I'd like to do a full video once we're further down the road of completion, but I've got a nice bench here. I used the remaining timbers that were left over from the framing package to do that. We've got our nice board wall and then I just used up a few things to make a, a shelf. Light, lots of lights. The famous Lennox display. If you're not watching the YouTube shorts, you don't know what I'm talking about. Well, you might want to click over and watch some more videos. So we got lots of storage there. The staircase, which is nothing new. Uh, that was in previous videos. And then basically, we've just really made an effort to completely clean all this out. The trusty Red Craftsman toolbox from up at the garage. We decided to split the toolboxes. For now, I, I just wanted to bring my old school craftsman that I've had since like, I don't know, I was just, just a kid. Christmas present, I don't know, I was maybe 13 or 14. And uh, the top box, which uh, is a beach brand, uh, it's got sentimental value. My dad gave it to me and it was all a gift, so I wanted to bring that down to the shop. So I got a set of tools down here. This is more wood oriented. I don't want to bring a greasy vehicle in here. If anything needs to be done like that, I'm, I'm going to continue with what I was doing. It can be done elsewhere. So my big toolbox with all the mechanic tools is staying up here. I mean, who can forget this uh, beautiful piece of art? Vice? Got to have a vice, right? And that's about it. Uh, I framed in under the stairs. It was, a, it was a dead space, right? I mean, this is the leftovers we're still figuring out, but it was a dead space. I got uh, plans for here, which, you know, got to keep some secrets from you. Uh, it's just a much better use of space under the stairs. So wall space is a valuable item in any building. So instead of this weird open triangle, we've got that closed in and locked. It's kind of where we're at. It's uh, coming together. We've got a little bit of free furniture. I've been very fortunate with Marketplace and a few other things. Um, storage is number one. I mean, if you don't have storage, you can't bring nothing home. A little bit of shelving, a little bit more, and a little bit more shelving. So, you know, and a man's got to have somewhere to do his paperwork because it's a necessity. You got to have somewhere to sit and tell your lies to your buddy. So we got lots of storage. And I don't even think I need to tell you why you'd want storage. Um, when things pop up on Marketplace and they look like a good deal, well, you just get cracking, you go get them. That's where we're at. There's a lot more stuff that's gonna take place in this building as we continue to get it set up. It, uh, you know, it just needs to be a priority. Guys gotta work for a living too, so anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this episode on the Spruce Tamper YouTube channel, and I want you to double Triple check that you're using the right screw in the right place. You know what I mean? I'm assuming most of you watching have a screw loose, but at the very least, click that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 3,000. We need about 100 more people to be as enthusiastic about this as you and I are. We'll get there. I don't know what order the adventures are gonna come in, but I do know they're gonna keep coming. I appreciate you uh, watching. As always, YouTube's a competitive market, so uh, the fact that you're here watching me do stuff, flattered. Catch you on the next one.